Yeah, 91.5 WMFO in Medford. I'm sitting here with the dog, Maddox. Almost all of them made it, too. Yes, that's right. That's right. Tommy and not here. So uh, so who who do we have? We have uh, Jerry Lehane. Yeah, that's Jerry right here. Pete O'Halloran, I'm on your left. Pete here. O'Halloran. Jimmy O'Halloran. Jimmy O'Halloran. So we got two O'Hallorans. Yes, we do. That's cool. And that's going to have to do for now. And James <laughs> James Young. Yes. I James always here. I always Thanks. remember that because you got the same last name as me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relatives. More brothers, eh? Oh, kind of DNA in the room. Yeah. Ah, so how's it going, guys? Good. We uh, drove up here in this crappy weather, but uh, here we are. Where were you coming from? Kingston? No, uh, that's where uh, Ma lives, but uh, I, I'm down in Situate, as is Jay. I grew up in Situate. Are you kidding me? No. Nope. We got a lot to talk about. We're all South Shore boys here. <laughs> yeah. So they are related. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. So, uh, Jerry, where are you coming from? Uh, Canton. Oh, okay. Right next to Milton. Uh, I get it, yeah. Which is next to Dorchester, where we all grew up. I'm in Quincy now, so I'm closer to Canton now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. You'll get there. Yeah, I can't I'd love to live in Situate again. I can't afford it though. Right? Yeah, I need to You must be doing something right. <laughs> Are you in Squantum? No. I'm I'm right by uh the Fellsway, the Oh, okay. Right, right by the highway there. Yep, yep, yep. I, Tommy Long, our drummer who is not here, um, grew up in Squantum. Uh huh. So we, we have a Quincy connection. Yeah, it's a peninsula thing. Yeah, right, exactly. Let's not forget about Arlington. Yeah. Now, let's do. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was wondering, you guys like had this great loft in South Boston. Right? Uh, the South End, yeah. yeah the South, South End. There's a difference. There is. And, uh, <coughs> like, how do you... Come from like you know. I was a teenager on the South Shore, and would have loved to have done something like that. How did you? How did you get from the South Shore to having a loft in Boston? You know, hmm. that's a good question. Um, and if you think about it, uh, so we all kind of went our separate ways. We moved out of Dorchester around yeah the late seventies, and uh, I think it was our buddy TK got his foot in the door in this thing, and it was. Uh, uh, this building in the South End called Reed's Block, and it was actually a city block, and it had all this industry in it in the 1800s, and it didn't have a whole lot going on. Uh, TK from the Savage uh-huh. Beasties. Yes, TK from the <laughs> Savage Beasties and Last, Last End. Last So right. he's our buddy, and he, he cropped up quite a bit in the, uh, the documentary, which we just released. I saw him in that, yeah. Reed's Block. Yeah, so anyway, we're back to the South End here, and uh, that's a long story. So it was basically vacant. And we rented, um, I think it was, it turned out to be 3,000 square feet yeah. for like 700 bucks or something. Like Between that. six people. And we had a freight so elevator. It was, so it was fairly easy. Yeah. It was, yeah. It's, it's the, o- the only problem with it, it, like he said, it was empty when we got in there. So we, we had to build our own walls and rooms and studio and bathrooms. And we did it, you know. We uh, had to figure out a lot of stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you guys must be like jacks of all trades to do that, huh? Well, we had a lot of friends, but, you know, the best thing about it was the location. You couldn't beat a location like that because literally we were within walking distance to a lot of the clubs that were now defunct but nearby back in the day. Right, and you say about like, uh, in the intro you say, well, I'd like to live in this town again because it's swanky, but it was a complete, I mean, it was right around the corner from the Pine Street Inn and it was... uh, they got all kinds of fancy words about that, you know, before Urban Renewal came out. Oh, yeah. And stuff. It was it was terrible. And, you know... Well, you, had, you can see in the footage, yeah. it's like nuts. I mean, and, the, and the, yeah. the loft, it looks like it's a cross between the monkey's house and uh, animal house. You know? <laughs> yeah, it kind of was. Yeah. But, I mean, you had to have your, your wits about you when you walked around there at night, for sure, you know. I would think so, yeah. 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 It was dangerous back then. You wouldn't want to live on Fair Street. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe not. It was. It's not for everybody. It wasn't. <laughs> you know. Nowadays, no one here could afford. No one here could afford to live on Thayer Street. Right. I don't so, know if you've seen what it looks like now. Is is the street still there? Uh, oh yes, it, it's um. What do they call it? It's called Soa. Yeah, it, it's of, crazy. It's 
million dollar uh, our unit right yeah. now for the 3,000 square feet you're probably talking five million dollars oh wow we it's couldn't insane. live on Thayer Street we couldn't live yeah. on Thayer Street <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, that's the new uh, song uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah so it was fun while it lasted right? yeah and uh, you know you do stuff like that when you're young you know? we had all the creature comforts we needed at the time mm. living in a loft you know, we had a freight elevator. We could, uh, bring, like you could see, in, if you watch the documentary, you know, we bring our motorcycles up and you can listen to it cool off at night with the lights on. Beautiful. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, I, I'm really sorry. I know it was years ago, but about Paul, uh, that's very sad. Yeah, uh, so for those that don't know, my twin brother passed away in 86 in a motorcycle accident. And, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things where... I know I didn't think we were going to be able to carry on in any way, even as a band, but like personally, it it was terrible. You know? mm-hmm. I had a, um, you know, I, I had a way to go before, you know, I could, life carried on. Right. It, it was. You it had was the rough. twin, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot, but I mean, here we are all these years later, and we very gradually, you know, started playing back again, and, uh, yeah, it took a while. Yep. And Jerry was uh, in several different <clears throat> bands after the fact. I sort of did. I dabbled. But, you know, and we all had to grow up and earn a living and all this, uh, all the terrible <laughs> things that you have to do in real life. To make a bunch of yeah. babies. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I can think about this, like, you know, you blink your eyes. Now we're all in our 60s, most of us here. <laughs> Right? Really? Yeah. <clears throat> what happened? Except for Jimmy, he's seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Wow. He's almost there. But I mean, I look back on it, and uh, so I I lost my twin brother when he, we were twenty six. Wow. And uh, and I think of all the the nonsense that we've had to go through in life, and some t- somehow I think as as painful as it was then that he kind of got. He got all the best out of life, all the fun and games <laughs> yeah. and the shenanigans, and uh, he didn't have to stick around for the yeah the, the bad BS. crap happened yeah. after yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, yeah it's one way to look at it. It makes you feel better sometimes, yeah. but you know. mm. and I um, think he'd kind of approve uh, at us carrying on and uh, putting out new material every now and again. Right, and as you know, Paul's uh, vacancy was filled by another O'Halloran. Right, which is great. The DNA is still in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes my other brother, Johnny. Is Johnny well. plays as well. Okay. Yeah. And then you had they sent they sent me a sneak preview of the documentary coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this thing's great. Yeah. Uh, everyone's everyone in the scene's gonna watch this thing. It's yeah. it's just great. But uh, it's one of your other brothers that narrates it, isn't it? Oh, it's Dan. Yeah, a <laughs> younger brother, uh, Dan. Cause he's got the right, uh, <coughs> the right voice, the right cadence, the right accent for that. Yeah, sort he sounds of good. Yeah, and uh, so Dan was the drummer for uh, Darkbuster. Okay. Back in the day, Lenny Lashley's band and everything, and um, and he's got his own band now called the Black Cheers, which he's he's a guitar player and he writes a bunch of songs for. So you know we're all busy doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Any shows coming up? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're playing tonight. Yeah, but uh, Jay and I, Jay the Mando player over there. Hi, Jay. Hi. <laughs> He's uh, him and I and uh, Jimmy. We make him play upright bass, but we dabble and we have this side band called uh, Pete O'Halloran and the Hired Men, and uh, we kind of do. <clears throat> what's the best way to describe that? You know, diddly diddly. Yeah, diddly. <laughs> Some, well, it's kind of it's not traditional. It's a cacophony of <laughs> but it's like genres the Clancy Brothers, uh, Ghosts, Meet the Pogues, and Johnny Cash, and uh, oh, it sounds know. fun. <clears throat> I love it. And I, don't, I don't know what you want to call it. Played in various formations. We're kind of an amoeba. We'll just absorb any musician who's yeah, available. What are you doing later? You want to play? play? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> practice in yeah. public, considering we don't get a chance to really get our act together. We just sort of wing it. But it's yeah. been a fun thing since about what 2008. Very good. You guys, you guys want to play something? Or? Yeah, sure. I well, did, I did. You want to talk a little more? Or? Well, I got to oh. preface this because usually when a, a a rock and roll band that's usually electric and playing it at night in the club where everybody's halfway in the wrapper, right? <laughs> Including some of us. But you now you now we stand in the light of day in a studio and we're like, yeah, we got all these acoustic guitars and so boy oh yeah. boy, talk about being 
not having any clothes on. Oh, man. But, well, uh, it, and just to add to the drama, Jimmy here is playing a... Let's describe what you're playing. It's yeah. a, some kind of a mandolin bass, and the bass strings are reminiscent of um, black licorice gummy worms. <laughs> did you make it's that this strange. morning? <laughs> Someone did. <laughs> Someone, hey, don't get personal. Someone found it, maybe. I don't know. All right, this show is brought to you through the, the courtesy of Rido. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to swing this over here. And swing it! Right here. Right. Jay, how does that sound? Is that better like, like this? For you, yeah, for sure. Do you Sounds think good. you can do the um, the uh, Thayer Street... Um, we're gonna actually. Uh, yeah, we're we're, yeah, we're gonna we'll start with uh, give me the shakes, right? Or, sure. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do the sax solo in the mandolin. Yeah. So, uh, great. can you do that riff for uh, Thayer Street um, as well? Yeah. Because I think Let's I'm. Give it a I'll, go. I'll, yeah. 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 Okay. All cool. right. All right. Here goes oh, nothing. Gonna, right. Give me the shakes first. Yeah. We'll try it. Okay. You ready? shakes no. is it true that was written because paul didn't like cockroaches no it's it jerry jerry, jerry yeah. didn't like the cockroaches we all, I, the rest of us love yeah, I, yeah every, I, yeah exactly i know a little bit of brown sugar on top. yeah we were hungry you know <laughs> yeah, who likes cockroaches <laughs> All right, this song here is about the uh, the street we lived on in the loft in the area in time. And when I say I wouldn't live on Thayer Street, it's actually the reverse. It's how much we liked living there. Yeah. So even though everyone says we wouldn't live on Thayer Street, <laughs> we loved it. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four. song 
on the sidewalk Or people in my doorway I don't know The folks downstairs It serves as a hotel For others paper without a hole You know it don't bother me I wouldn't live on Thayer Street I wouldn't live on Thayer Street I wouldn't live on Thayer Street Oh no Watching clips of Kennedy emails having a disco night It's 2 a.m. and the bell is ringing Pat is gonna start a fight You know it don't bother me I wouldn't live on Thayer Street I wouldn't live on Thayer Street I wouldn't live on Thayer Street I wouldn't <laughs> that was surprisingly good. We might have to ditch the guitar and have the mando do all the leads okay. from now on. Okay. I was saying that when you guys were like getting ready to come in, I'm like, I'd love to hear this for you with the mandolin. Yeah, you got it. You got what you wanted, Brian. And a you face to do it. I know. <laughs> All right, so this is another song. So uh, it, this is a, a newer song. It's called She's the One, and it was the first single that we released on Rumbar Records, the mighty Rumbar Records, the best, uh, the best little label this side of the Mississippi, we say, you know? Lou, Lou uh, Mansdorf uh, runs a great, uh, a great label over there with great bands. We're, we're, we're really grateful to be on that label. Uh, this song is... She's the one, it goes like this, you ready? On four, one, two, three, four. Buddy Holly Buddy influence Buddy. there. Buddy who? <laughs> 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 this is okay, so the next song is uh, called Sister Serena. Start that on four again. One, two, three, four.
Sister Serena There ain't nobody meaner than Sister Serena Talk to her, you better look her straight in the eye Even though her breath had burned the hair off a porcupine I don't understand why she does the things she does I only know that she does them when she does Sister Serena Sister Serena there ain't nobody meaner than Sister Serena Sister Serena Woo. They have a more after they stayed on. MFO, you're on the air. Hello, I just wanted to call in. I saw them on the flash, and I don't know if people call in and give you raise, but I just want to say, they sound great! <laughs> Who's, this? The house. Who's this? Who's this? This is Kim. This is Kim. How Hi. you doing? Hi, Kim. Thank you for the call. You Love sound, they you? really sound great. And you guys <laughs> sound <coughs> awesome. Where did Thanks. you say you're playing tonight? Um, Pete, go ahead. I don't know. Uh, we're playing as the hired men. We're doing some kind of uh, <clears throat> acoustic slash Irish slash shenanigans down on the South Shore in Hansen Athletic Club. Yeah. It's, well, it's, I'm so, going to be watching. Uh, it's a Benny really Benny. Yeah, it's kind of like this uh, private benefit thing. Tell them the uh, next show is. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to be watching for you. It's a Thanks. comfort Thanks. zone. Thanks. Yeah. Dance right away. Well, on April Fool's Day, we'll be playing a uh, show um, at the, the French Club in Waltham with a slew of other bands in celebration of Jay Allen's uh, 60th birthday party. So Ooh, that's, that, 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 awesome. That, yeah, I think that's a Friday or Saturday night. So, yeah, come on down and uh, have a good time. Well, I just wanted to let you know you sound great, and I am dancing to you now. Right. You just like <laughs> make me dance. I'm loving it. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it going. Keep Thanks, it going. Kim. Thank you, Kim. All right. Bye. Bye. I stole your thunder, you? Great stuff. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it sounded great. So, uh, what's next? We're going to play more. Are you going to do another song? Yeah. We're going to do one more. What was it last year, right, um, Jay? What, yeah, was it like almost, September? Or was it earlier? Might have been similar time. That's I can't remember exactly. Actually, no, I think it was. Did Audible Audible Audible? Yeah. 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 May, May, released in May. May of 22. Yeah. So a full EP. Yeah. Are you guys right now? Are you going to do something else? Are we actually talking right now? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got our head. So we're thinking we're like, ha, ha, ha. We should have been probably like, Songs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they might not hear us very well, but oh, we okay. yeah, yeah, right. um, My wonderful wife is Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
So right. um, we plan on going into the studio um, in Canton at Ed's Barn um, in June, and we've already like blocked out the weekend. So we have new songs, and then we'll write while we're there. We're going to try to do it old school so yeah, that yeah. everyone participates instead of one person just writing, bringing in the song, showing everyone else. This is going to be like a, a real uh, a band uh, collaboration. An exile on Main Street. Kind of, yeah. I would say that's a, that's a you know I, that is a good uh, good analogy. I would say, yeah, very. Yeah. You know how like if, when the Stones would go to the south of France, yeah, and you know yeah, try you to go, you try to, to kick drugs and right into the hell. <laughs> Yeah, this is the low rent version. We're gonna go for a weekend to Ed's Bond and <laughs> drink a couple Narragansetts and write a few songs. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, so we'll do one or two more, maybe. Okay. What do you think? Um, yeah. So I guess I they, can't read that. It's too bad. Yeah, people are saying um, <clears throat> they can't hear the guitar that well. Well, that's because they're acoustic guitar. I explained in the beginning. It's supposed <laughs> to be done <laughs> cranked up <laughs> through, through amplifiers. Um. What song do you want to do, Pete? Uh, yeah, look at that. It's a damn right good there. thing we don't know anymore. Uh, everything went there. Nope, not doing it. Do <laughs> Saturday Night Alive again. You want to do that one? Or uh, drinking by the. Why don't yeah. we do the. Uh, um, let's do the uh, acoustic version of uh, the pipeline or whatever. Okay. Well, just go out on that. Oh, you want to go out on that? No, okay. well, do the song that you okay. wanted to do there, okay. and then we'll do that. Okay. I didn't say I wanted to do any more songs. Like, That's right. You were done for the day. I was done for the day. I oh, was no. about to go downstairs and get in my car and drive home. Yeah. Hey, where'd you get that guitar, by the way? That's new. This one? Uh, this is at my, at my mom's house. She, um... <laughs> he just pulled the guitar out of his mom's attic, and he thinks it's going to sound good. It yeah. sounds good, though. Sure. No rain with no case. <laughs> this sounds pretty good. Can you hear that? The rain Michelle, can you hear that, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that Michelle Meadows? Uh, no, no. No, different Michelle. We don't want to get Jimmy in trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Saturday night again Saturday night again Saturday night again And I'm all alone Well, come on over here Let me buy you a beer I just want a chance To romance you Another Saturday night
It sounds kind of puny, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Well, thanks for tolerating uh, this acoustic ensemble. Yeah, oh, it's, it's been great. It's yeah. been great, guys. Let me grab this back. Oh, fantastic. And uh, love the documentary. Everyone's going to have to see that when that comes out. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It should this be good. It, it's getting, it's been submitted to, like, the director put it in, I don't know, close to 100 festivals worldwide that are going to be yeah. deciding whether or not to include it over the course of the whole year. But the goal, I think, is to get, you know, if it doesn't, hopefully it'll get into some kind of festival around here, or we're going to figure out a way, probably in like the May, June got to be a frame. festival in yeah, Boston yeah, to put it in. It'll get screened when here the so we get the yeah. wide audience to see it. Uh, I'm sure it'll get considered and rejected from the Boston Film Festival. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're basically assuming that. No, well, we don't know. But, uh, prove us wrong. I know who we're talking to. But but <laughs> at, at any rate, well, we, we'd like to give a shout-out to uh, Rudy, Rudy Childs. Yeah. He did a lot of work on it, and our niece, Jada Maxwell, also Jada. did a yeah. lot of work yes. on it. And there's so like, much more than meets the eye. I mean, you can go look at a documentary right. that goes... Uh, it seems like James put a lot of work into well, it. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah so basically, I mean, Jada and, and Rudy had been working on it over four years. Yeah. Uh, Jada started off being their niece, mm. like, you just starting to wrangle up, sort of being the archivist, because that's her yeah. discipline. And uh, just started finding out stuff, and then these guys, you know, been friends with Rudy for many years, and that just made sense. And then the pandemic really sort of slowed things down for their collaboration on that. So yeah, worldwide. And with the goal that they were hoping to get it into these festivals before the end of the, you know, they had to basically submit them at the very end of the past year. And I so, think it should do well. Yeah, so we're, it's already gotten into four, three or four so yeah, far. Um, four, yeah. You know, from like West Virginia to South Africa. Youngstown, Ohio. I don't forget Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, and South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, yeah and the one in West Virginia, West it's actually yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah, that's the closest. But gonna, if you think about what is it, an hour and a half running time? Yeah. Is it that ninety minutes? Yeah, and four years worth of work on their part. But then, if if you look at it, you, I look at it, I go, "Holy, that's our life!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so, a, you know, it was a lot to. to it'll only take you an hour, hour and a half to yeah. catch up on it. So, I also yeah. got to give a big shout out to Blowfish. He had a lot of FaceTime yeah, in that. Yeah, that's right. Some, yeah. some great things to say. Who knew? Yeah. I thought all uh, journalists hated us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm considered a journalist. Well, <laughs> but, I, but you it's still okay. hate us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I believe a lot of his stuff was on the cutting floor. Yeah, you know, I mean, it did get oh, cut. Yeah. He did a lot. 
And, uh, you know, we reached out to a lot of people, and now we have people going, oh, why didn't you contact me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think at the time... We did contact yeah. you. <laughs> well, I, I think he had so much good things to say, they yeah. they wanted to use a lot of it, yeah, you know? Right. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I think the editing uh, must be the hot pot of any, <coughs> any collaboration. Like this. You would yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, well, you want to take some pictures and... Uh, yeah. We'll listen to some more dogmatics on the machine here. Yeah, well, thank Sounds you, everybody good. out there in uh, Radio Land. Yeah, thank this you, Brian. Fun. Thanks, everybody. Finally, we got up here, you know? It's my been a absolute, while, right? My absolute pleasure. <laughs> uh, we'll do it again in six months if you like, all, all right? All right, yep, sounds good. All right, man.